Hey, this is Buzz Stone with episode number 12 of Airwaves. And on today's episode, I'm going to be assembling this. It's a brand new Serio Starduster M400 antenna. And it's next on Airwaves. Buzz Stone signing in with episode number 12 of Airwaves. And as promised, we're going to be assembling the Serio Starduster M400 antenna. This is for the 11 meter CB band. And I'll be uh, going over some of the specs here as you uh, look at all the parts I've got laid out here on the table. And uh, I can tell right now uh, by looking at the parts that some of this assembly is going to have to be done outdoors. Uh, because of the size of the antenna and it is snowing out so uh, it may take me a day or two to complete the video but when you see it it will be complete but what I'd like to do now is go over uh, some of the specifications for this antenna again it's a Starduster M400 uh, 26.5 to 30 megahertz tunable base station antenna uh, it's a quarter wave ground plane antenna and as I stated the frequency range is 26.5 to 30 megahertz which is tunable. The impedance is 50 ohms. Uh, the radiation is considered an H plane which is a 360 degree omnidirectional pattern. Polarization is vertical and bandwidth at uh, SWR equal to or less than 2 is greater than or equal to 2000 kilohertz at 26.5 megahertz which is at the uh, lower end of the frequency range of the antenna. Uh, the SWR at the resonant frequency should be equal to or less than 1.5. Maximum power is 1000 watts continuous which is pretty good and it does say in uh, quotation marks CW so that would not be voice, but still that's going to uh, be far more uh, than is necessary for most people. And it has a 3000 watt short time max power, that again uh, in CW mode. And the connector on it is a, a UHF female, which is an SO239 standard fare on your CB radios. Okay, now before we get started, I want to show you this because this is very important. Anytime you're working outside where there's a danger of coming in contact with electrical lines and it's always a possibility when you're putting up a radio antenna on a, uh, a high mast or tower that's coming in contact with electrical wires. So caution, danger, be aware. Don't do that, okay? because uh, I can put it into the party really quick. What I'm going to do here, I've still got the parts laid out on the table. I'm going to kind of go through them to tell you what, to, what they are. Uh, from what I've seen, it looks like this, and I've not had any experience putting one of these together before, but it looks like it's pretty straightforward and, and not all that uh, complicated. But as I said, it is going to be a pretty large antenna uh, when it's fully assembled, although it should not be all that heavy because the parts are tubular aluminum so fairly lightweight uh, but what we've got here on the table and I'm using the uh, the top radiator here as a uh, pointer for right now up here you've got uh, this is your standard fair warnings uh, about what not to do but we have already talked about that this right here this rod is your center top radiator excuse me this would actually be the center radiator this rod that I'm holding here using as a pointer is actually the top radiator now the bottom here of this is going to um, go into this base right here okay and at the top of this radiator you see this little cone shaped thing right here that is going to go onto the very top of that and then this rod, this radiator that I'm holding will slide into 
the top of that little cone right there. Now this cone nests on top of this rod. This rod actually goes up inside there to some point and this slides down through there and this is a smaller diameter this rod I'm holding um, is a smaller diameter than this one so it will slide in and out of this radiator and there's a set screw goes in here and holds it into place now that's how you tune this antenna which I think is a really cool idea the way they're doing this you don't have to do any trimming uh, so, and so it's not fixed. You can always retune it to a different resonant frequency later on if you want to, which I think that's a really good idea. Now these three little rods right here, these are these little radiators here screw into this cone-shaped uh, fitting right here. Okay. Now, so what we've done, we've got this center radiator is going to be screwed onto this part right here. Okay, and this rod that I've got in my hand uh, will screw, uh, excuse me, slide down into this cone and these will be screwed into here. Okay, now uh, once you've got all that onto this base over here then you, that's where these uh, remaining six radiators come into uh, effect. Uh, these, these three right here which have the threaded bases on them I think you can see that on camera they screw in to these three points here on the base okay and then these three radiators right here screw in to the end of these three radiators so you can see uh, these radiators these uh, three right here I'd say are a good four feet long and these other three are about the same length so when these are fully assembled you're going to have somewhere around eight foot long radials so they're going to extend down quite a ways um, okay so now the, this whole system here the way it goes together you see this black this is a plastic black sleeve now you're going to have to have a separate piece of mast pole for this to slide on and that will be the actual base for the antenna uh, it needs to be mm, looking at the picture here uh, probably at least four feet long I would say um, would be a good idea you might be able to get by with a little shorter piece we'll find out later on but your mass pole will slide through this sleeve and then up into the base here in the bottom of the base there's there's a hole in the bottom that's a mast okay and then these three plastic arms right here they connect to this sleeve and then they have you see they have a square tab at this end which goes into the three tabs on this uh, plastic sleeve here and then you have a ring at the end now these radials slide through these rings so what you're going to have, let me reach over here, you're going to have basically this sleeve with these three arms coming out. Okay, you'll have a mast pole coming up through here going into this and then of course you have your, your center and top radial uh, extending on up uh, from that and these three arms here hold your radials in place so that they're at the correct angle and they're not uh, just blowing around with the wind so you can see it's uh, you know I think a fairly simple assembly and I also forgot to mention over here we got a bag this is your little your screws your hardware that you need there's also an allen wrench in there uh, that you will need to put your set screw in but everything just screws into place um, and uh, looks pretty straightforward so what I'll do is here I'll put uh, some of the parts together the smaller pieces and parts and then when we do the final assembly I'll have to move outside and as I said it's snowing right now so uh, I haven't decided yet I might make this a two-part video we'll see once we get into it it depends on how long the weather's going to be bad before I can get outside and uh, finish the assembly. 
So stand by, we're going to uh, zoom in here and uh, work a little bit on some of the smaller pieces. Okay, this is Buzz back with you and what I've done here is I went ahead and assembled this small uh, piece right here. This is uh, some radials that go in the center there where you put the two main radials together. And as you can see, there's a hole. If I can get the angle there, right? Hopefully you can see that. There's a uh, hole there where a set screw goes, okay? And if you look through here, you can see that's hollow, right? Okay. So what we're going to do is go over here and this is the uh, center radiator and this will slide down onto that and then a set screw goes in there and holds this in place so I'll go ahead and put that set screw in and get back with you okay so I've gone ahead I've assembled this section right here and I slid the center radiator uh, element into the base of this uh, cone shaped adapter here and I showed you there's a hole for a set screw here's the uh, threaded set screw and they give you uh, an allen wrench uh, which fits that and what that and then I took the top radiator and slid it down into here and as you can see I can adjust this to whatever length I want to and that's how you set the antenna for the resonant frequency whatever you decide you want that frequency to be and then you just tighten down the set screw and it will hold the whole thing in place I don't have it tightened down all the way okay now I'm going to go ahead and slide this down here just so and get everything in the camera then this radiator will screw onto your base like that okay and then you'll have these three radiators and again these are very long they're like four feet long but they'll screw in to these three I'll show you that later I'm not getting the correct angle here trying to reach in but uh, also you can see there on the base this is your SO239 uh, UHF female uh, connector where your coax will screw onto and this is why you're going to need a separate piece of mass pole too because your coax cable <clears throat> is going to go into the base so obviously you can't run your coax cable down the mast pole. If you had a single mast pole, uh, you could run it down there, but then how are you going to bring it out when you get down to the bottom? Uh, it would be possible, you know, if you did uh, uh, maybe cut a hole in your mast pole or something, but that would weaken the strength of the pole. So you probably wouldn't want to do that. So what would happen instead, you have a shorter piece of mast pole that will slide into there, and then your coax cable would go up through it and then down the side of your main mass pole and imagine that pole in there and this is where the plastic sleeve comes in with the uh, the three arms that will mount and will hold your uh, radiators in place your ground planes so as you can see like I say it's fairly uh, straightforward and once the weather cooperates, I'll get outside and we'll put this thing together. Okay, that's the end of part one of this two-part video. As I stated, uh, we've got bad weather outside. I'm going to have to go outside to finish assembling the antenna. And we're already up to about the 15-minute mark on this video. So I'll go ahead and publish this video so you can at least... Uh, get an overview of the antenna and what all is involved with uh, assembling it and then in part two of episode 12 uh, we'll go outside and we'll finish the assembly and uh, maybe even put it up on the mass pole who knows
We'll see what the weather lets us do. But this is Buzz. I thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, see you down the dial.